Okay, this is the October 2022 P1 paper. It's question number four. It's a question that's algebraic expressions, sort of fractional indices towards the end. It's solving a quadratic equation as well. Uh, but let's just get started, then you can see what it's going to be. So part A says, fx is equal to x squared 2x plus 1 minus 15x. And then for part A, we're solving fx equals naught. Okay, that should be relatively straightforward. Let's multiply out the bracket. I'm going to get 2x cubed plus x squared minus 15x equals naught. Looks like it's difficult because it's a cubic, but we can factorise and take x out, which leaves me 2x squared plus x minus 15 equals naught. And now we're just factorising that quadratic. And at this level, I'm not doing any work on that. You've got to go away and find a different video if you can't factorise a quadratic. Um, this one works out to be 2x minus 5 and x plus 3 equals naught. And so this is going to give me an answer. x equals naught, 2x minus 5 equals naught, or x plus 3 equals naught. We said just repeat that. x equals naught. This one is going to give me x equals 5 over 2, and this one is going to give me x equals minus 3. Just go back and check the question. Yep, nothing special about that. So part A, done, four marks. Part B then says, all right, okay, once you've done that, the hence gives me the clue that I'm going to be using part A to do part B. So let's have a quick comparison of this equation. And we can see that it's in exactly the same format here where I've got x squared, they've got y to the 4 over 3. 2x, they've got y to the 2 over 3. They've got, both got plus 1 and um, 15x, 15y to the 2 over 3. Well, I don't particularly want this first one because that's not overly helpful, telling me that x squared is y to the 4 over 3. I can get it from that, but it's just too complicated. Don't bother about using that one. So although that is true, I don't need the ones there, both of the two that I've got arrows now are telling me that x is the same as y to the two-thirds. If I now look at the one over here, I can say that's the same thing. x squared is y to the 4 over 3 also means that x is y to the two-thirds. But I'm actually, if I'm thinking about it, I'm going to really take it from that one there. Okay, the thing that's next to the 15 and the thing that's next to the 15. So x must be y to the two-thirds. That's the easiest way of making the comparison. So B, I'm going to say, right, x equals y to the two-thirds. So if I go back and just write out that equation, I don't particularly need to, but just I want to have it there anyway. So y to the four over three, two y to the two over three plus one. Minus 15, y to the two-thirds equals naught. And actually, I think what I'm going to do is that way around. Have the equation first, and then say from the equation, I get that x is y to the two over three. Right, okay, well that means where I've got x equals naught, I've now got, oops, sorry, now I've got y to the two over three equals naught for that one there. I've got y to the 2 over 3 equals 5 over 2. And I've got y to the 2 over 3 equals minus 3. Well, this is where I am. Just going to quickly go back and check. Look, they've given me a range of values for y there. y's got to be greater than 0. So actually, that's going to get rid of um, two of these solutions straight away. This is not going to be in range because y is going to be equal to 0. This is not going to be in range because y is going to be a negative, which means I only now need to focus on y to the two-thirds equals y to the five over two. Uh, they've said about not using calculator technology, so I'm not sure how far to go here, but at least one of the stages would be to say, if I want to get y equals something now, don't just write an answer down. And what you've got to do is to say, if I've got y to the two-thirds, how can I get y? What I'm going to do 
is I'm going to take to the power of 3 over 2 for both of these things. Similar to saying you can square root both sides or you can square both sides, probably easier. I can square both sides, well I can to the power of 3 over 2 both sides. Now if I really want overkill, I could actually write that then. Got a little bit of time, a little bit of space, so I could actually say for this one here, y to the 2 thirds to the 3 over 2 is equal to 5 over 2 to the 3 over 2. That's what I'm doing, which then gives me y equals 5 over 2 to the 3 over 2. And it's just how many steps you actually want to do with this. I think I'll just say what the, the, the cube does. Hopefully everybody's aware this is cubing and this is square rooting. So if I wanted to do one extra stage, and I think I'm already doing too much, but it's just the fact that they said about the calculator technology, what I can do is I can do five over two cubed. So five over two cubed, five cubed is 125, and two cubed is eight. So that becomes that, and then we can square root that, and square rooting that. Now I'm just gonna write down what the calculator will give me for that. Um, I think that's enough to be able to make it clear to the examiner as to what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, anything else like that. It's only, it's only worth a couple of marks. would be too many steps, I think. So hopefully that makes sense for question number four.